morning guys, it's 519, 36.5 degrees. It's day 36, May 8th. guys 754 46.6 .6 degrees sorry for the late check-in it uh, took a little while oh I'm uh, four just over four miles into the day um, took a little while for the GoPro to warm up enough to uh, record any clip longer than like 20 seconds so um, anyways yeah last night was a good night slept pretty good um, we chose that spot on account of the fact that there was a large mountain to our almost immediately to our southwest which is uh the direction from which there were forecast uh 30 mile an hour winds and 50 mile an hour gusts so uh we kind of earmarked that spot and we're happy to make it it was an early night so got in shortly before 6 30 last night and i personally woke up uh oh gosh i don't know 5 15 or whatever it was you saw uh, kind of got ready, had breakfast, and uh, got moving. Uh, currently, MoMA is right up in front of me, and that chocolate right behind me. Um, and yeah, we're kind of curious to see whether that mountain up there, which is where I think we're heading, is uh, it's gonna have snow on the north side. Right now, we're hiking in sort of the southeast side. Um, so far, there hasn't been any snow really on the trail. But we'll see. We'll see how long that holds. Um, today is also the maiden deployment of my new uh, solar panel. So we're going to see how that goes. Right now, I have it plugged into my 20,000 milliamp hour anchor battery bank. But I am still carrying my additional 10,000 uh, anchor battery bank in the pack. The hope is that on this jump I can figure out whether the solar panel is going to be enough to allow me to ditch the 10,000 and carry only the 20,000. Better yet would be if I could ditch the 20 and carry the 10, but uh, I don't think it's going to charge that reliably. We'll see. Um, anyways, should be a good day. We're going to cruise on probably at around 10,000 now or getting on it. I will check in with you guys later.
right, good evening guys. 6.58 and 62.5 degrees. We have made it to camp for the night. There is Mome and Midnight Chocolate, and you can see my kind of cowboy pile over there. Tonight's actually a pretty exciting night for camp. For one, these are just beautiful, beautiful little area we've camped by. Um, and part of what makes it so beautiful is kind of number two, which is that tonight is the first wet campsite uh, of the entire trail that I've had so far. Uh, I imagine there have been other opportunities, but that I can recall, this is the first time I've camped near water. Um, you can see right over here is a little, a little creek that we had to cross to get in. Um, yeah, so water a plenty in the morning and just kind of makes everything easier. Um, yeah, uh, today was a good day. Definitely uh, saw a lot of really pretty stuff. Some more of that um, sort of those sort of like alpine meadows with like a little running creek through there. You probably can't really tell in the videos, but those those little like creeks and those big alpine meadows, um, they might only be like three or four feet wide, but some of them can be like five plus feet deep just these really deep sort of like chasms in them which is which is actually pretty interesting and that that's just like really 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 beautiful uh beautiful landscape so hopefully um some of those shots came out and you guys were able to enjoy that uh definitely drop a comment if you did um let's see what else happened so yesterday which was the first day of the jump from ghost ranch to trauma i realized that one of my two smart water bottles had sprung a leak which is all just as well but um it's kind of a bummer to realize that like the first day of a five day jump. Um, so I was able to like put some tenacious tape on it, but that wasn't really holding. So I wrapped a big band of duct tape around it. And I mean, it's holding okay, but not great. And it'll, it'll be fine to get to Ghost Ranch or to get to Chama. Um, and then today when I was shooting right after crossing that big old log on that river, that raging old river, um, kind of my camera, my GoPro slipped and broke the, uh, broke the lens. So. So that was a bummer, but luckily I have a uh, backup. I had a backup lens ready to go. So, um, yeah, those are kind of the two exciting behind baseball uh, things of the day. Um, aside from that, not really much else to report. I think tomorrow we got a big old climb in the morning. Um, we're about 47 miles away from Chama, which, uh, well, I should say 47 miles or so from Coombers Pass, um, which is sort of like the gateway to Chama. Um, so hopefully if everything goes well and the weather and the terrain and snow and everything is accommodating, we should be able to make it there um, on Wednesday, uh, which was the plan in five days. So it'll just come down to what time of day on Wednesday. Um, again, provided, provided stuff stays, um, stays okay and, and, and amenable to hiking. So um, I think tomorrow I'll probably try in 20, 20 plus again. And if we can do 20, 20 plus the day after, I mean, that would be great, but we'll kind of see how we go. Um, I think that's all I got. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.